Hello Universe! So in this vlog, we're going to experiment and learn about fats and oils in biomolecules. So I guess I'm a little bit excited in 3, 2, 1. Let's go! By the way, I'm a first year BS Bio student. Oh wait, we forgot something. Yeah. Okay, so I'm a BS Bio student in first year and my name is Ayla. And today we're going to experiment about fats and oils. So let's start! So in our first part, we don't use our safety googles and face mask in order to see the physical properties and smell its odor. So both tallow and lard has the similarities when it comes to their general appearance and texture as they are both a solid, except for their odor. Tallow smells like beef meat and lard smells like pork meat. This one is the coconut oil. So coconut oil smells like a copra product and it is in a liquid form. So this is the canola oil, similar with the coconut oil, it is in a liquid form but it has a unique other less floral scent that is good to smell. So this one is the corn oil, similar with the canola oil but this one is more neutral and less scent to smell, it is in a liquid state. So lastly, here we are in the second most common used oil in the industry, so it is also odorless and it is in a liquid form. So since we are done checking the physical properties of the following substances, let's go back in our safety googles and our safety mask to continue our experiment. So for the solubility, let's place 1 ml of the substance into the cup or small transparent wide mouth container and let's add 3 ml of the solvents. Shake well and note whether the same are soluble, slightly soluble, or insoluble. So the lard in the ethanol solvent is slightly soluble. In acetone, it is also slightly soluble. And in water solvent, it is insoluble. So for tallow solubility in ethanol, it is insoluble. Tallow solubility in acetone is insoluble too. Tallow solubility in water is definitely insoluble. So next is for coconut oil solubility. Ethanol and coconut oil is slightly soluble. Coconut oil and acetone is also slightly soluble. Whereas water and coconut oil is insoluble. So up next is for the canola oil solubility. Canola oil and ethanol is slightly soluble. Canola oil and acetone is soluble. And lastly, canola oil and water is insoluble with each other because water is a polar solvent. So let's go for the corn oil solubility. Corn oil and ethanol is slightly soluble. Corn oil and acetone is soluble. And lastly, corn oil and water is insoluble. So now, let's proceed to vegetable oil solubility test. Vegetable oil and ethanol is soluble with each other. Vegetable oil and acetone is also soluble with each other. And obviously, vegetable oil is a non-polar solvent while water is a polar solvent so therefore they are insoluble. So let's go in our part 2 which is the reaction to natural indicator. Let's first prepare the finely chopped small amount of red onions and place it in a bowl. Let's pour boiling water into the bowl until the chopped onions is fully covered or immersed. So let's give it a mild stir. Also, you can use blender for best alternative. After leaving it 5 to 10 minutes, you have now your natural acid base indicator. Use strainer to transfer the liquid into the other bowl. To test the pH indicator, place few drops of detergent and vinegar into different cups. Place 3 to 5 drops of the prepared pH indication into the two container and observe and compare the change of color. The dishwashing liquid stays the same while the vinegar adapts the color of the pH indicator. So for another experiment, let's place 3 ml of fresh coconut oil in a transparent container and add 5 ml of distilled water. In another 2 cups, add 3 ml of rancid coconut oil in cup 1 along with 5 ml of distilled water and same with cup 2. Use twice or many times oil. Let's add 1 ml pH indicator. Coconut oil with distilled water is insoluble while the 2 cups which contains the pH indicator is slightly soluble. 
So in part 3, the emulsifications of fats and oils. The coconut oil with the hot water is still insoluble, while the coconut oil with the hot water and a soap solution is now soluble with each other. Here's the result. So for the last part, which is the identification test, let's place 5 drops of mixture of coconut oil and ethanol on a bond paper separately. So for now, let's go in our acrolin test. So first, in a dry metal spoon, place 5 drops of coconut oil and heat strongly by your candle or it's better to use an alcohol lamp for a few minutes. Use tongue in holding the spoon. Allow it to cool and observe the characteristics of acrylin odor. Do not put your nose over a spoon while it is hot. Test for the presence of oil in peanuts, copra meal, dried whole milk, corn, chocolate, pork cracklings, malungay seed, and flour. As I noticed, most of the substances produce an acrylin odor. Typically, the copra meal, peanuts, chocolate, and the pork cracklings. So in order to understand and observe the characteristics of the substances, you can continue to watch the procedure in this video. So we're done now. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you've learned a lot in this vlog. Thank you and God bless. Bye!